Welcome back to Switch Stars, my name's Luke and today on the channel we're taking a look at another success games title, this time with Cyber Taxi Simulator, a game that they advertise as a futuristic journey and a race against time to fulfil orders as a skilled taxi driver, picking up and dropping off passengers to earn coins to unlock a world of customisation. However, just like the eShop trailer, this is an extreme exaggeration of the truth to say the least and doesn't accurately represent gameplay. So drop a like, subscribe for more Nintendo Switch content and let's set things straight. So I'll start by saying don't get this game confused with another game simply titled Cyber Taxi, which I've not actually played myself but from what I can gather is a sleek looking driving first person shooter and taxi simulator, and a game that actually looks like a lot of fun. Cyber Taxi Simulator however isn't, and as you'll soon see you'll get about a minute's worth of fun out of it if you can actually call it fun at all. Starting off with the main menu though, it's pretty much identical to some of the other simulator releases you'll see out there. You get a settings menu with some audio options and a garage which we'll get onto shortly and that's it. Hitting play though drops us into the not so bustling city as futuristic flying cars go about the daily business and you can get an overview of the controls by heading into the options menu but this one looks to be built using some sort of drone simulator engine. You accelerate with the ZR button and break and reverse with ZL, turn with the left thumbstick and ascend or descend with the right thumbstick, but they haven't even bothered to program in a strafe button, so avoiding obstacles, making minor adjustments to your position or even performing a simple U-turn is a pain in the ass in this one. Once you've nailed the controls though, you can then look at picking up your first passenger, and new passengers appear on your phone on the left hand side of the screen. Accepting the pick up with the B button then displays a dotted line on your minimap in the top right corner leading to the location, and after making your way there and landing next to them with the A button, you'll then pick them up and the line will update to show the drop off point, which you once again fly to and hit the A button to drop them off. Or and you'll then have to sit and wait about 15 seconds before your next pickup will appear. From the time at which you accept the pickup to the point at which you drop them off though, a timer will start counting down, and this doesn't actually stop during the cutscenes which play out during the pickups and drop offs. And you may be thinking that this would pose an issue by giving you less time to complete the job. However, you needn't worry about that at all, as this is a complete map of the city. It's literally about a 20 second drive from one end of it to the other at most, and that's your lot. There are no other cities in the game, and you'll just be driving back and forth down this singular stretch throughout your entire time playing, which even by this developer's standards is absolutely pathetic. For each job you complete though, you'll earn a couple of hundred coins which can then be spent in the game's garage, and the options you have available to you here are pitiful to say the least. For your existing taxi, you can purchase a bunch of different paint jobs which are all simple adjustments to the hue slider and don't look great, and you can also strap on a bunch of shitty cosmetics, which give no indicator as to what they do, but they might affect your performance modifying how fast you fly or turn, I just couldn't tell. So far as new vehicle unlocks go, you get one, which costs 10,000 coins which equates to about 60 in-game jobs to unlock. But it's worth noting that whilst playing the game, you'll occasionally get a pop up which states your daily rent has been deducted, removing $250 from your kitty, an absolute pointless addition which serves no other purpose than to extend the tedium of it all. But regardless of this, there was no way on God's green earth that I was playing this sheep long enough to unlock and test that second vehicle. As you can see though, this is yet another complete dumpster fire of a game which had the potential to be relatively decent, and in my opinion it wouldn't have taken that much effort to build it into a futuristic crazy taxi like arcade game in which you've got a time limit to drop off and pick up as many passengers as possible, or even just to expand the city beyond the single drag that it currently offers. But as we've seen time and time again, this so called developer doesn't actually like developing things and they'd rather just shit out something in a week and have done with it. 
Well, I'm just about done with Cyber Taxi Simulator, and I guarantee that after 3 minutes of playing it, you will be too. So save yourself some money, don't bother buying the game, and check out the gameplay footage at the end of this review to see everything there is to see about it. With that said though, did you make the mistake of picking this one up and how did you find it? Let me know down in the comments section below, drop a like if this one helped you out, and subscribe to the channel for more Nintendo Switch content. But for now, thanks to the patrons of the channel for their ongoing support and to you the viewers for watching, and until next time, take care of yourselves and game on.